G'day fellas. Welcome to another video in the improvement checklist. Today we're going to be talking about the United States. When it comes to the United States, there's a number of different build orders that you can do, including the Germantown Farmers opening. But today we're going to be talking about two specific build orders and the situations that you can use it. These build orders can be used on both land and water. So let's get into it. The first one that we're going to be looking at is the trading post build order. So I'm going to start by just moving all of my villagers over onto food. Let's get to it. Yes, sir. Order. I'll do it. We're going to start Order. by moving our explorer towards the trading post. We're going to be taking a trading post in the first age. Order. We're going to be shifting Love villages over onto wood. Orders. Yes. Orders. Yes. Orders. Yes. Attention. Hello. On my and, way. and slowly yes. moving them yes. over, just like this. Order. We'll be taking the trading post that enables us to get the fastest pass possible, or the, the earliest pass possible, in which case it's going to be this trading post here on this map for this spawn. It's very, very specific depending on the map that you play, the spawn that you play, the way that the map spawns, all of these things can influence which one is the best one. Uh, if this trading post had spawned up over here on the top side, then I would have gone for this trading post. On maps like Great Plains, instead of the trading post uh, in the middle being the best one to go for, it's normally best if you go for... Oh, did we get the pass? Oh, I think we missed the pass. It's terrible. It's terrible. And sometimes that will happen. Um, we, we were a little bit delayed there on, on getting our trading post, and as a result, we do miss our pass. Uh, so it does happen, but uh, it, it's it's not a big deal. I'm not sure exactly what happened there with my, my villagers. So the first thing that we're going to be doing uh, for the land TP is sending in the Chinese immigrants, a really important card. Uh, I'm going to be taking some treasures, uh, but I'm not going to be actually taking them, quote-unquote. I'm just going to be uh, taking or well, killing them for experience. Uh, now, I have overgathered just a little bit. Now, keep in mind that with this build order... Uh, typically, you're going to want to make sure that you're, you're not overgathering any wood. Uh, that, that 15 wood that I've got could have been, you know, uh, an extra 20, 25 uh, food. So it could have helped me age up a little bit faster, but that's all right. It, sometimes it happens. So the reason why you're going to be going for this build order uh, on a map with trading posts is because it enables you to actually take a lot of the, the trading posts. So you've got this first trading post that you start with. And then yes, with this trading hunter. post, you're going to be able to spawn another trading post rickshaw, take a second trading post, and then you've got this third trading post rickshaw here as well, which is going to be enabling you to uh, take a third one. So it, it, come, it depends on, on which one you feel more comfortable taking. But for me, I guess on, on a map like this, normally I'd be taking the, the three that are closest to me. Uh, I'm just going to be... Oh gosh, the trading post has spawned very, very weird, this, this map. Normally they, they come out this way. Uh, so a little bit different. Uh, but that, that's hunter, not to worry. Hunter. So Hello, minor. typically th this is a little bit more of a, a passive build order. Typically, I would say you wouldn't be going uh, particularly aggressive with this. You do have to be careful of your trading post. There you go. You can see the wagons not, not doing their best. Second card that you're going to be sending in, Capitalism, is, is the next card now. So uh, you can see that we're moving towards that age up. We're slowly collecting the coin for our age up here. Hello. So... Um, one of the things to keep in mind is that you are going to typically age up a little bit slower with this build order uh, because you're not sending in the corridor bar. So we're going to be training our 14th settler. That's going to be our last settler. So we're going to be aging up just around five minutes with this build order and just making sure that each of our villagers aren't going to be running out of hunt. So it all looks pretty good. Uh, we shouldn't be going idle here at all. Looks like it's, it's got a little bit of a treasure down here to the south. Let's pick that one up. That's all right. We'll leave him alone. Capitalism now coming in. Obviously, it doesn't take any form of uh, uh, population space. So we're going to idle here for a little bit, and that's okay. That's a normal part of the build order. And then from here, there's two different options. Me personally, I prefer to go for Virginia in this situation. And then in the transition period, moving everybody over onto, onto wood. And we're going to be getting a market during transition. We're also going to be sending in a third card in age one, which is going to be our Irish immigrants. So we're going to make sure that we time it so that we send it at 4 minutes and 21 seconds. You can see that we've got that capitalism. That capitalism is beginning to tick, so we're going to be able to get those upgrades like hunting dogs nice and early. And we're just going to continue to try and remind ourselves to send in that, that immigrant card. It, it, it is quite common that you will forget to send it. If you do send it in a little bit late, that's not a big, not a big deal. Uh, we're going to continue to... So there's our hunting dogs coming in, and now we're going to send in Irish immigrants at 422. Looking pretty good. Hunter. Gonna herd in Hello, now, Hunter. so quite a bit going on in the transition period, and Order. ideally we want to be dropping down Lumberjack. two houses in our transition period, and then we're gonna move everybody over back to Order. food, 
as well as over to Coin. And the idea is with the build order like this, we're just going to be doing a, a bit of a semi FF play or a, um, a little bit more of a, a committed age two play here. Okay, so that's enough now. So we can bring everybody off over. Uh, your next option is that instead of going for a, a second house, just gathering enough for uh, hunting dogs uh, and steel traps. So that's what we might do here. I'm going to continue just to to send these guys in. Might chuck a, a few more on onto coin. And we've now got that shipment for the second age. So sending in 700 wood as our first shipment. Going to drop down our barracks inside our base. Going to pick up our steel traps as well. And then from here, just continuing to gather both wood as well as our coin. We're going to be waiting for our next shipment. So our 700 wood, once that comes in, that'll be what we're going to be using to build our houses. And so when it comes to macroing for uh, the units that you need, it's important just to, to try and be a, a little bit versatile with it because uh, you're not always going to be able to macro it perfectly. So we can see here, so I've, I've essentially just got enough to, uh, to keep float. Ideally, I want to be popping out five of each. And so now I've done that. So next card after that is going to be Virginia General Assembly. And so now we've got the Musketeers out. We can go and begin pressuring on the map with this. We can go take a trading post down to the south. We can also call our next trading post Rickshaw. And now we're going to be looking at doing a... Uh, so we can, we can cancel this. We can keep it going. doesn't really matter. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is now getting our stagecoach upgrade. So stagecoach upgrade is going to come in. We'll drop down our next house. Yes, carpet miner. Train our villager. And you can see that we're, we're actually quite close to uh, not being able to produce a, a, f a full batch here of, of units. Um, that's simply because we've got that early stage coach out, and, and that's that's a normal part of it. Uh, and so now we're just going to continue herding all the way in. Grab our fifth trading post. We can, we've got one down towards the bottom. That's our fourth one. Now we're getting our fifth one. Continuing to herd. And then from here, the 700 coin is what comes in next. Oh, just so, so frustrating to deal with this, but uh, that's what happens. And then, so from here... Uh, we can just transition all of our villagers over onto food at this point. Just make sure we keep herding in. Uh, and the 700 coin is going to be enough to get us up to the next age. And the set, the uh, the coin trickle is what's going to take us up uh, to the top. So from here, we can choose to have wood in. Uh, we can choose to get food. You know, whatever it is that we want. But you can see that we've, we've collected five trading posts in this time. We, we've built up a little small force of musketeers. We potentially could have pushed our opponent with this and now we've got that 700 coin that's come in. So with that, now we're going to be making sure that we gather it up. So typically you want one villager on each of your coin crates and five on the big one. Uh, and don't be afraid to go idle just before you age up. You can see that we are moving towards that age up. So that's happening for me. So do not be afraid to go idle in this little period just like that. And then aging up with New Hampshire. And that's it. That's how you do it. And so now you can see we're up to 600 wood at the moment. So once we reach the next age, so we'll be making sure that we age up with statehood very, very fast. So we should hopefully get an age up time before nine minutes. We're going to just be dropping down our two tradings, uh, our two uh, town centers. And from there, we, we can begin booming. We can start making more units. That's essentially how you open with the trading posts. Now let's take a look at the second build order. All right. So the second build order, you're going to start it off essentially the same way. Uh, you're not going to be taking a trading post with this build order. You're going to be opening with French immigrants, which is quite standard. Yes. Uh, you're going to be making sure that you, you do your herding. Get this in as close underneath the town center as possible. But the rest of the villagers are going to be going over to food, uh, over to wood rather, because you're going to need to chop out that extra wood. You start with 200 wood, but you're going to need a total of 300 wood. So we can see now that we've, we've managed to do that. So uh, get these guys all over here. And so on, on a map like Great Plains, you wouldn't do a TP start just because there's not really enough trading posts to justify going Chinese immigrants. And as a result, it just means it's more economic for you to avoid going that. So we might start off now. There's an there's an 80 wood treasure here. We're not going to actually take this wood treasure. We're just going to take the uh, the XP from the uh, the treasure guardians. And so what we might do, we might just select our deck as well. And so keep in mind in in this situation here. Uh, we're not looking to uh, take any trading posts at all. Hello. And now I'm herding over to these villages that are just uh, over at the way. front. Yes. Going to drop down a Order house builder. as well. Hunter. We're going to send in those 
are French immigrants. Now they're coming in. And that house should hopefully come up right as we're about to idle. You can see we're spamming it. A little bit of time idled. Not too much though, so not too fast. Going to make sure that we keep herding in this bison. Don't be afraid just to shoot it when it's underneath the town center like that with a couple villagers. Just so that it stays put. That way you don't have to worry about it. Just We're going to be leaving that treasure down there. Just keep that in mind. Uh, the reason why we're not taking treasures here is because we want to emulate you know, any environment and we don't want to rely on treasures. I want to show you that it can be done without treasures. When the three Kurita bars come in, come in, it's important that you send them over to a new uh, a new herd or a new animal that's on the ground. That way you avoid having any kind of idle time for them. So we're going to be aging up with 16 villages down here in the bottom right. You can see exactly how many we're going up with. So the idea is that we're going to be going up with 16 villages. Uh, we might actually... Let's kill some of these guys as well. Why not? I think it's a sheep treasure. Yeah, three stray sheep. So not, not a very good treasure. Not a terrible one though. And so now that this uh, bison is getting pretty low, what we're going to do, stick three villages in the town center and we're just going to shoot that bison. And now we're going to begin using that bison uh, because these villages, otherwise they're going to go idle. It's important that we're able to, uh, to uh, make sure that they avoid going idle. Because you watch what happens when these guys go idle. They're going to walk over here. They're going to have a little bit poor pathing. They might like fumble over each other. This guy might like get stuck in between here, walk around that house, that sort of thing. Fortunately, it was all, all, all pretty good. Uh, but ideally, what we want to happen is make sure that we get up to the second age without going idle on any of these hunts at all. That's the ideal situation. We might go idle here. You can see we're down to 76 food. We've got 100 food to go. Uh, but I think we should be okay. So uh, even if we do go idle, so now, now going to be going up again with Virginia. And so during the transition period, yes, yes, going to be trying our best to herd because we need to get to 300 Hello. food very, very quickly because we're going to be sending in Spanish immigrants. That's going to be our first card that we're sending in, or second card rather, I should say, in the transition period. You can see that we're about to hit that now. So we're just waiting for it Yes, I'll do it. during the transition period. Uh, so now we're sending that in. It's going to be 300 food. Now it comes in. I'm going to move Lumber villages path. over on onto uh, wood because we need to begin getting our houses up because stuff is about to get real. Let's just say that much. Now, when it comes to this opening, there's a number of different ways that it can be done. Uh, for me personally, I like to be a little bit more aggressive with it and I'll, I'll teach you guys a build order that I actually learned of somebody in my community that actually used it against me uh, in a game that we were playing and uh, I was taken by surprise I said holy moly that was a uh, that was an incredibly strong build order I was not expecting that uh, so uh, yeah definitely something to to consider something to think about so we're going to send our Spanish immigrants forward so that's the outpost so we'll just send it you know over here over there it doesn't really matter where we send it um, and uh continue right now Hunter, Hunter. what we want to do is make sure that when we reach that next age that we've got a, enough resources to call our pikemen so just waiting we uh oh gosh we've had how long have we had these little idols for that's a little bit scary isn't it and sending out we're going to have a wagon that we're going to be sending out as well so making sure that that goes out and still hurting Yes, Hunter. Hello. And now Hunter. dropping down our extra house. Orders. I'll and so this wagon it. is On our military way. wagon. So we're just going to make sure that we drop our flag right next to it. We're going to send 700 wood as our first shipment. And we're going to be training pikemen. Yes, advance. So we'll bring our explorer back over here. So we've got pikemen coming in from our outpost. We've got 700 wood that's going to be coming in on the way. So now we're just going to transition everybody over onto food at this point. Apologize, we've got quite a few idols going on right now. It's uh, it's not the best look, I'll say that much. And so we, we might just take these now, so I'm just going to shoot this one and uh, get all these guys firing. And so the idea is behind this, so we're going to be training state militia. A lot of state militia, and we're going to be using the pikes to defend them. And so making sure that we gather up all of the wood that we've got available to us. And then just, you can see in the meantime, we're now just basically just spamming full state militia here. Gonna make sure that we keep one in queue. We're gonna drop down another house. And then from here, we're gonna send state militia from the home city. So sending that in. I think the uh, the native explorer has, has gone and tried to pick up this treasure. Unfortunately for him, we've uh, we, we prepared something a little earlier. And so now we're gonna drop down a market as well. We'll get hunting dogs with that. And make sure that we train the rest of our state militia. Making sure that we send them into the forward base as well. So now we've got a whole, we've got ten state militia to about six minutes twenty, and we've got some pikes to defend them. 
And then we're going to be sending in our batch of state militia as well behind it. Can get our hunting dogs upgrade as well. Now, obviously, I haven't done any herding this game, so you're going to make sure that you guys do herding as well. But this is essentially an aggressive opening that you can really rely on in a lot of matchups where you don't have access to those, those trading posts. And there you can see, so we're going to have our 23rd state militia out. It's before seven minutes, so not too bad at all. Fellas, I hope that you've enjoyed this look at exactly what the openings are for the United States. Keep in mind, this is just two of the openings that the United States has got. They've got a whole suite of them, uh, but these are the two that I rely on most. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. If you have, I encourage you to leave a like. If you think I've left anything out, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.